Hi students, good morning everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. We faculty have uploaded subject videos in your class WhatsApp group. Definitely this will help you for your mid exams and external examinations. So please go through the videos and reach out to us if you have any doubts. For this, today I am going to discuss third unit fiber optics. In this fiber optics, main concepts are first, what is an optical fiber? Next, we will discuss what are the advantages of fibers compared to other communication systems. Next, we discuss construction, principle and working of optical fiber. Next one, we will discuss types of fibers, attenuation and losses in fibers and we will discuss applications of fibers in different fields. These are the main concepts what we are going to discuss here. Okay. The developments in the field of communication and information technology, it demands very easy and rapid transmission of data over long distances. That is the main requirement here. For this, fiber optics technology is replacing wide transmission lines in communication systems okay and we know that communication is transferred through carrier waves in any communication system when the frequency of carrier waves is high then information carrying capacity also increases why because the rate at which information can be transmitted is directly related to signal frequency that's why if frequency of carrier waves is high, automatically information carrying capacity also increases. And we know that light propagates in the form of high frequency waves. If you observe light waves frequency 10 power 14 to 10 power 15 hertz. And if you take microwaves 10 power 8 to 10 power 10 hertz. And if you take radio waves 10 power 6 hertz. Means light has high frequency compared to micro and radio waves. So if it has high frequency means it has high information carrying capacity compared to micro waves and radio waves. So light waves can be used to carry information means light waves used as carrier waves. Okay. So now for proper guiding of information carrying light waves one proper guiding medium is required. So that proper guiding medium is the optical fiber. So now what is an optical fiber? Optical fiber is a guiding medium for carrying information from one place to another place in the form of light waves. Once again I am repeating here. What is an optical fiber? Optical fiber is a medium to transfer the signals from one place to another place in the form of light waves. So to guide the light waves, optical fiber should be transparent and to minimize the transmission light losses, definitely the fiber should be thin. So optical fiber is a very thin transparent dielectric material. It is made up of glass or plastic. That's why glass fibers are available and plastic fibers also available. Okay, now the transmission of light along the cylindrical fiber was first demonstrated by John Tyndall in 1870. Okay, so it is the first concept here. What is an optical fiber? It's a guiding medium for carrying information from one place to another place in the form of light waves. So next we discuss what are the advantages of fibers compared to other communication systems. So what are the advantages of fibers? First main advantage already we discussed high information carrying capacity and extremely wide band. We know just now I discussed. The rate at which information can be transmitted is directly related to signal frequency. And we know that light has high frequency as compared to radio and microwaves. So it can transmit, light can transmit more information. That's why a single optical fiber, it transmits.